The first and most important uh, uh, political and economic reality to recognize is that all, all, without exception, all industrial nations are rapidly degrading and dissipating their life-sustaining resource base. In short, all of these nations, ours and all the rest, are consuming, consuming our capital assets, consuming our capital assets, and counting it on the profit side of the ledger. The basic wealth of our nation, the basic wealth, the capital, the basic wealth of our nation is air, water, soil, forests, minerals, rivers, lakes, oceans, uh, scenic beauty, uh, wildlife habitat. Take it away and all you've got is a desert. Perhaps the most sacred tenet of capitalism is that you do not consume capital to pay for current expenses. Yet, unwittingly, or perhaps witlessly, the captains of industry and the free market entrepreneurs have been depleting the nation's capital resource base for so long, uh, they are unaware that they are sowing the seeds that will destroy the system. Every business enterprise in history that consumed its capital and called it profit went bankrupt. Sovereign nations are no different. It will just take them longer to get there. Ironically, the most devastating commentary on our forestry practices came from Vladimir Malaznikov, a Soviet ecologist and botanist who visited Oregon with a group of seven scientists in October, last October, 1990. They came to learn about America's forward-looking, professional uh, forestry practices. They were dismayed by what they saw. This is a quote from Mr. Malaznikov. I am a forest ecologist with 30 years experience in the forests of Siberia. Not long ago, I was able to visit the forests of Oregon. I went to different spots in the forest and saw the forest from the air, and I was stunned by the scale of logging. Well, the first time I saw it, I was stunned too. Then he continues, what I have seen in Oregon, in my deep conviction, won't make it possible to use your forest techniques as an example for us. Then he ended saying, I don't want to be misunderstood. I'm not trying to lecture Americans. All I care to do is, in a friendly way, warn you. Don't repeat our mistakes. Tremendous natural resource use and planned transformations of nature has led our system to the point of ecological uh, uh, crisis. The crisis is apparent even in Siberia. And with this crisis, as undeniable consequences have come economic crises as well. Mr. Malaznikov's observation is all the more damning, coming from one who has witnessed it all firsthand and sees us blindly pursuing the same course, down the same path, to the same end. Tragically, the universal guiding ethic of the United States and all other uh, industrial nations since the Industrial Revolution has been maximum exploitation of all resources with minimum concern for the environment. This guiding ethic has been quite precisely described by a Japanese journalist who was asked by ecologist Paul Ehrlich why the Japanese in whaling industry is busily exterminating the very source of its wealth. The answer was this. You are thinking of the whaling industry as an organization interested in maintaining whales. Actually, it is better viewed as a huge quantity of capital attempting to earn the highest possible return. If it can exterminate whales in 10 years and make a 15% profit, but it could only make 10% with a sustainable harvest, then it will exterminate them in 10 years. After that, the money will be moved to exterminate some other resource. Well, Mr. Daly 
Mr. Daly, Herman Daly, cogently summarized this evolving tragedy when he said, quote, there is something, there is something fundamentally wrong in treating the earth as if it were a business in li liquidation. Well, that's the way we've been treating it for quite some time.